Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and all keeping safe. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a different video today and it's kind of going to be like a styling video just because from feedback that I've got so far you all seem to really like the styling bits that I do in the hauls and also I have now, I realised I've only been doing YouTube a month and I've done seven hauls which is a lot and I do want to kind of switch it up a bit and also I cannot keep on buying clothes like I have not got like an infinite money tree or whatever to keep on buying clothes over and over again. Plus, I'm really bad, like I won't send them back when I get them. Like, sometimes I buy like a lot of stuff and I'm like, right, I'm going to choose my favourites out of it and then I get it and then I'm like, oh no, I like all of it. So, I couldn't even do that. Um, plus, I also actually bought some stuff off Debenhams and House Fraser and because they've got like massive sales on at the moment like obviously Deblums is going into administration or liquidation I can't remember how it's either way massive sales and I got some cute stuff from there but I was kind of like I couldn't do a whole haul just for that because it was very mixed and it wasn't it's not their own brand stuff anyway normally um and then I was thinking about doing like a styling video with existing clothes, like I have a lot of existing clothes. And what I wanted to do was like a mix and match of like different brand levels, different market levels, just to kind of show you guys like that you don't have to get all designer or you don't have to get like all like cheap stuff or all like brands that are like well known for being fashionable, like misguided, top shop, stuff like that. Just a, like just showing a little like swap around and yeah just what you can do with different stuff like I'm very much I don't agree with brand snobbery or anything like that if I see something and I like it I will get it not like the whole like Ariana thing like see it want it got it thing <laughs> no see it want it bought it I can't remember anyway <laughs> not like that in that sense just like that I don't look at it as, oh, that's from that brand, I'm not getting that. So, for instance, I have clothes which are from Tesco, and then I also have clothes which are the completely other end of the spectrum, and like from Michael Kors and Ralph Lauren and stuff. And then also, I'll have stuff from Topshop, I'm misguided, and also I've said in a lot of videos, I get a lot of stuff from New Look, but New Look isn't one that's really deemed particularly fashionable anymore. So yeah, I'm just going to show you just how to sort of mix everything about and not have any brand snobbery. Just because when I was younger, I did used to think like, oh, if I've got clothes from there, I can't admit that they're from there or whatever. And equally, like, I know like people might not afford the designer stuff or some people might just want designer stuff. Um, yeah, just to show different brand levels and that you can get nicer for any brand level, uh, but also you can mix and match. Sorry, I'm waffling on a bit. Um, yeah, so let's go on into the video. So I just thought I'd start off with the blazer from Tesco, because I just said about how bad it's from Tesco. So this is actually still in stores now, and I think it's about £30. And then I've just got paired it with like a little top from Primark, my top top jeans, a new look belt, and then my Air Force. And then I've also got a Michael Kors bag with it. So it's like very mismatched. It literally goes from one end of the scale to the other. But like, I saw this blazer in like, well, like similar kind of blazers in like Zara and like top top and stuff, and they were like twice the price. And you just couldn't tell it was from a supermarket at all. So this one's like a bit more of a festival leaf kind of one. Um, this dress I just got in the Debenham sale, but it was from, no, not Debenham's house price sale, but it was from Miss Elbridge. But it's very similar to like the ones which you get on Motel Rocks and stuff. I just think it's really festively and really summery. And it's got like nice slits. This one has got on both sides, which is a bit different. Um, I've paired it with these boots, which I just got from Debenhams, that are Carvella ones. Um, and then this River Island bag, but that's like a few years old now. And then this 
jacket, I actually, it's actually from Primark, but it was like a full length one, but they had ones like it in Topshop, but they were like 60 footed just from being a bit more cropped. So I just bought like an oversized one from Primark and just cut it myself. And then I actually got one from TK Maxx, which was black, but it was from Topshop. But it was obviously there out of, like, it was already being sold in store, but it was also in TK Maxx, but it was like identical. So I got that one as well, but yeah. <laughs> so this is basically very similar to the outfit which I wore the other day and really look cool. But so I've got this Levi's top that I just got from House Fraser, which is a bit different because it's actually got like leopard print on the red, which I really liked. Um, My skirt from the new look haul and then I've got these shoes which are from Debenhams they were from Clay and then I've just got a Carvella bag so this is very mixed brands but it's like a really nice chilled summery look this is like my standard go-to summer look is like a Levi's top or like some kind of top like this and then a mini skirt so yeah so this is a bit more of like a drinks kind of outfit if we can go for drinks again um yeah it's quite like peppy and girly like i am my style is really girly and this is probably like extremely girly right now uh this top is the one that i keep on wearing in nearly every single video that i got from new look that i am obsessed with um these shorts i actually got from matalan like a few years ago which again like a really like random brand but um yeah, they've got like the polka dots in them, which are back in again this year. And I just think it goes really nice with the top because the top is subtle polka dots. So it's not full on polka dot overload, but it's like tiny little skinner. Uh, again, just my new look belt. I'm sorry that I keep wearing the same belt. I don't actually have them more. Um, and then these shoes I got a few years ago from River Island and then a Ted Bay bag. So this again is another kind of more festively one. Uh, I've got on the black version of that denim jacket that I was all about and then this is actually the dress from the Motel Rocks video that I said you could cut the tie off and it looks so much better so that's that um, I don't really remember where this plain white crop top was from and then just these boots which I just got in the Dorothy Perkins um, bit of Debenhams which is again like one that I don't really tend to shop at Dorothy Perkins but they were only like £15, I think. But yeah, this is like a really nice festively outfit. Obviously, if anybody has got festivals, they can still go to this year. And then finally, this is a bit more of like, kind of like a drinks one or... To be fair, this, I also wore this quite a lot in winter. So if you wore it with like tights and then maybe like over the knee boots or still ankle boots. But I also kind of feel like it could be dressed down a bit more for like festival maybe. Maybe if I wore like Doc Martens instead of heel boots. Yeah. So this coat is from my paws. Then the dress is actually from Primark. I'll show it there. But this, I found like an identical one to this. But it was on Motel Rocks for like 40 quid when the one from Primark was like 13. Then the belt again. And then the shoes also from Primark. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit of a different one. And I actually found it harder than I thought because one, I didn't realise just how much of my stuff I'd left behind. So in my head, I had all these clothes and I left so many of them behind, it was ridiculous. And also I kind of feel like I'm in a bit of a rut because I think it's because of quarantine, like all the styles that were meant to be out this year, like nothing's really happened about them like a few of them have still come through but it's obviously really difficult and i do feel really bad for the brands to be fair especially like the one, like the design ones which had catwalks because obviously all that stuff's been made and now it's just not really getting bought not really getting worn like i've bought like a few pieces but i just feel like i haven't really gotten anything that's particularly on trend or anything at the moment so yeah, it is a little bit difficult. Like, it's actually when it gets to the stage where like joggers and a nice top is a fashion trend. Like, it is obviously like a very weird time at the moment. I don't know if like a lot of them will come out a bit later on in the year. Apparently like some things are actually gonna get delayed until next year, which is actually a really good idea. But yeah, it's just like a bit of a weird one. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy me doing like a little bit of a different one. Obviously I will try and do some more hauls again soon and some other videos like I've said in my last video I'm gonna do my nails 
which I was just waiting for the stuff to come for that. I am going to do that as my next video after this. And then also at some stage I'm going to sort my hair out because the root, my roots are just atrocious. So yeah, I'll be bringing some like different ones and I'm still trying to keep on thinking of ideas for really different ones, other stuff that I've done. I do want to do another 24 hour easing challenge as well at some stage, especially now like supermarkets have calmed down a bit, it would be a bit easier to do that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. If you did like, please like, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon.